guys, just a real quick video um, for week 10, cycle one, week 10, rhythm, we're talking about rhythm, make sure that you're reviewing first with your class so they remember what everything is, right? So last week we talked about, um, we talked about note values and stuff, the week before we talked about dynamics, and before that make sure you're always reviewing the parts of the tin whistle, right? Um, so you're gonna pass out copy, copies of the cycle song um, and then you're gonna have the students trace over the vertical lines, okay? And I'm gonna show you what the vertical lines look like. Here you see a vertical line here, vertical line here, vertical line here, right? Those are called bar lines, okay? The space in between the bar lines, that's called a measure, okay? And see, um, depending on what kind of class you have, how old your students are, see if the kids can't figure out how many beats are in each measure. The answer is four, but see if they can't figure it out. If we're counting quarter notes, one, two, three, four, right? Because each one gets one beat. Then you have half note here, right? So one, two, and then this one is two. So two, one, two, and two is four, and then it ends a measure, okay? This one also, four quarter notes. And then here's two quarter notes and a half note. So all of it is gonna equal up to each measure has four beats, okay? So then you're going to remind them, or tell them, that rhythm describes the way that notes form a pattern as some are played longer than others, okay? So rhythm. So when you have four quarter notes, the rhythm is one, two, three, four, right? If you have two quarter notes and a half note, it's one, two, three, four, because that half note is held for two beats. You don't have another ta there. So if it was sung with ta's, two quarter notes and a half note, or in this case, right here, right? Ta, 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 right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that half note is held. So that's the rhythm. And then when you sing, um, let's see, you're gonna go through the whole song chanting ta together. Okay? So when you go through the whole song chanting ta, that means you're gonna you're gonna do the song without singing the words. So you're gonna sing the song, right, with ta as the only word. So I'll give you an example. Ta 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 okay and the kids are going to catch on they're going to see uh, what you're talking about that um, the rhythm means how to count it right and how um, the notes kind of make a pattern um, then you're going to have the children sing it with ta if you didn't already do that some of the classes this is pretty easy for them so you can just jump right into doing it together um, let's see. Then you're going to get out the tin whistles. Remember to practice proper hand placement, right? Left hand always goes on top. Cover it with a pat of your finger. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? And remember, um, the finger needs to cover the entire hole. So look, it's not going to go like this. It's going to go all the way over, right? And the thumbs kind of hold it. You're almost pinching it, okay? Um, then you're going to remind them what does it mean when the conductor, who, that's you, puts their hand up, you're ready. When they close their fist, that means stop, right? Remind them before you start. Then you're going to practice um, the first measure of the song. And um, so you, the first measure of the song starts with all fingers down. They play ta ta like that. Then they lift up their fingers, and just these two fingers are playing the next two notes ta ta, okay? So ta, 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 ta. And for some of the younger kids, that's gonna be super exciting to hear their song that they've been singing all this time actually come out of their whistle, especially if they're playing it together and they can hear everybody doing it. Um, and you're gonna continue that with each of the measures for as long as you have time. Um, let's see. And if time allows, you can also remind them about dynamics, about getting quieter or louder, like piano, forte, remember? And then you're going to pass out copies of staff paper, right, with empty lines. And you're going to have them copy the rhythm exercise, which is on page 97. So you're going to have them draw the bar lines, right? 
a whole note in the first measure, two half notes in the next one, four quarter notes in the next one, and you can draw this up on the board for them. Okay, and then 16th notes here. They're gonna copy your, your copy of, you're gonna copy this, and they're gonna copy you, okay? And then you're gonna help them, or they can do it on their own, depending on how advanced they are, counting out that measure. So this is one, two, three, four. This one's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and in music we say one and two and three and four and. Okay, and we just use a little plus sign. You don't have to, you can just have this be one, this be two, this be three, this be four, just depending on your kids, okay? Let's see. Then you're gonna clap that rhythm that you just copied together. So it's gonna sound like this. I can't hold it and clap at the same time, forgive me. But it goes ta a a a ta a ta a ta 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 t t t t t t t t. Okay. So you're gonna do that and see how you can slow it down and just do it real slow. Okay, for the little ones. Some of the older ones have got this down already. So you're just gonna practice clapping that rhythm. And then you're gonna um, have them take out their copies of the song and have them label that rhythm, okay? So here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. right? That way that'll help them um, when they go to play it or practice it at home. Remember when they're count, remember teach them to count it in their heads or tap their foot. And when they play it, ta, 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 ta. So when they're playing on their tin whistle, they're gonna use their tongue to separate those notes, okay? So, and I'm just hitting the the fipple, or I'm sorry, not the fipple, the mouthpiece with my tongue when I separate those notes, okay? Let's see. And I think the last thing that they want you to do, have them label the rhythm and then they can chant through the song um, using ta, right? So ta, 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 right? All the way through the song. And they want you to point out here these holes right here, these little diagrams, that is talking about the holes on your tin whistle. When they're blackened in, that means your fingers are down, covering the hole completely. When it's open, or like an empty circle, those are up. So that's gonna give them the fingerings for making those sounds, for making those notes, okay? So, the way it looks like is here. Ta, 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 ta. Ta 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 oops ta ta <laughs> ta ta and it continues. Sorry, it's not real I'm not the best at trying to look down and play at the same time. But you get the idea. If you have any questions, please talk to me before CC starts and I will see you then.